like what so AI, right? We've been talking to date about how can we show up and be more human and connect more as humans over this digital virtual channel. So what are your thoughts on AI being used to like specifically to deep fake kind of the, the, the person, whether it's adding an avatar or, or just changing the way they're kind of behaving? Yeah, I don't. I love, I would say, and before I, maybe this will help flow into that answer, but I love AI for like the pre-production work, like using mm -hmm. ChatGPT chat GPT just to formulate the thoughts. But I just feel like people get really smart fast. And I think it will be easy to tell when it's an AI person or not when you're on camera, you know, whether that's the delay, whether that's not stumbling through words, like even you and I have had a few and I've had to like, okay, let me think real quick or look up so I can think. Yeah. I think that's great. I think that shows personality and it shows like a true connection because a lot of us, when we are on these, even if you are selling, a lot of it comes down to that connection. So maybe there's a way to use the AI to, I don't know, make content that way, but I don't know if it's ever gonna replace like the human to human interaction. But I also think you can't ignore it because it's one of those things where it's not going to go away. And it, all these people I see, like, especially on LinkedIn, that like hate on ChatGPT and say this and that. I'm just like, that's great. But like, while you're spending the time not doing it, someone younger with less to lose is learning how to use it to replace you. Yes. You know, and I think that's going to happen. So it's, you know, I try to just keep a tab on everything. But um, and I know some of the softwares, but I'm like, I'm not ready for someone to replace me just yet. But it, I think it's interesting to know what options are out there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wholeheartedly agree. I love, I mean, the meeting summarization, key talking points, you know, Zoom's AI companion that just came out, I think is actually probably one of the better experiences for in-call intelligence because all these bots, personally, I find too much of a distraction. Um, so I'm all about enhancing some of the, um, what would you call it? Like the, the almost like back office type work that needs to be done in order for a meeting to be efficient, whether it's some of the prep work as you suggested, or, um, some of the after kind of meeting note taking components. I think that absolutely is a great use case for AI. I struggle with, because it, it you can't deny the that like personal personal video at scale components of using ai to like deep fake the greeting um or whatever it is um, or an entire conversation and i agree with you that people i mean ai will also continue to get better as people get smarter to it so it's kind of this really interesting relationship but i would i would never want to see a human get completely replaced by the digital avatar or a deep fake version of themselves and trying to connect either with like another deep fake version, right? Or, or an actual human yeah. on the other end. That's well, that's even scary to think about. I think that's like a movie right there. So right. <laughs> the A's I will start having their own friends and social network that the humans won't be able to get in on. I think. Uh, right. <laughs> have you seen her? Yes. Yes, yeah. I have. You know, yeah, like eventually they'll be like, oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, my AI friends are like just a little more on, on top of it and on the ball than that's you are. So funny. So. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's a great point too. the post stuff, like not only the the meetings and I love that for like podcasts that will end up doing your own episode summary, you know, and, and again, what I like is that it's using your words to do it. Yes. There's a great app called Cast Magic. I use a lot where you can just upload the audio file and and it'll you can also create your own prompts and they have some pre-made prompts depending on what type of like situation or what type of content it is. But um, I had them on my podcast and, and he was telling me they have this new app where you could just talk into your phone. So let's say you have an idea for a live event. You have an idea for a new addition to your software. You can just riff on it and say, da, 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 you know, go on. And then it will formulate all that. And I like that because I'm great at speaking, but writing for some reason, I, you know, maybe it's my ADHD, but it's just like my ideas are kind of all over, you know? So I, like, it helps me formulate it and yeah. condense it into one thing. And that way it's like, okay, cool. I can spend my time doing something else, not spending hours just trying to get a newsletter out or getting this follow-up email done. Right. Right. For sure. Yeah. I think it's great. Um, this platform actually, Zinc does a great job 
leveraging um, AI and generative AI specifically, right? Like after this episode, we'll get a really nice summary and they're, they're very accurate and organized. And it's just like that kind of time savings is huge. Yeah. And it's done from like our words. So from yeah. real people talking through things, yeah. it will just make it a little more condensed and, and easier to digest for, for the mm -hmm. audience, which is great. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, awesome. Well, that was that was the last question I had for you today.